Welcome to Lexio Divina Reflections, Saturday of the 26th week in Ordinary Time, from the Responsorial Psalm. Teach me wisdom and knowledge, for in your commands I trust. Lord, let your face shine on me. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The seventy-two disciples returned rejoicing and said to Jesus, Lord, even the demons are subject to us because of your name. Jesus said, I have observed Satan fall like lightning from the sky. Behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon the full force of the enemy, and nothing will harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Having given them his authority to cure the sick and cast out demons, Jesus witnesses the joy of the seventy-two disciples returning from their mission. The cause of their joy is what they are able to accomplish in the name of, of the Lord, yet Jesus calls them to ever higher love, drawing their gaze to his Father in heaven. Jesus shares in their joy and recognizes their childlike trust and faith in the authority he has given them. I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, Jesus says, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Generations of kings and prophets hope to see and hear what the childlike and faith have seen in following Jesus. He rejoices because they take joy in the love and providential care of the Father. In Job's words, I know that you can do all things, and that no purpose of yours can be hindered. God, no purpose of yours can be hindered. Help me remember that throughout the day as I try to carry out plans, good plans that result from your gift of reason, that give glory to your name. Yet, I'm sure, as Blessed Francis Xavier Silos experienced, to make mistakes and get in your way. Teach me wisdom, guide me in your paths, but often in the midst of all this work, Francis Xavier said, I do something dumb and everything goes topsy-turvy. Give me the grace today as I journey toward my true home in heaven to move in accordance with your will and especially to hear and respond to your gracious will. Blessed Francis Xavier, pray for us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.